For the cheapest coins with fast delivery and quick customer support, check out my sponsor, Red Zone Coins, and use code SWIFT at checkout for 20% off. So, so Swift family, and today I'm coming back at you guys with another Madden 20 video on the channel. And in today's video, we are going over the best ways to get training points in Madden 20 Ultimate Team. The market has really changed a lot um, over the last couple days and training is really, really helpful now because a lot of you guys are getting some team of the year players and you probably want to power them up and throw some abilities on them. So I'm going to go over where you can go to and what players you need to buy in the auction house to get the best coin to training point value. This is a video that I haven't done in a while, um, but I'm trying to bring this content back. I know you guys really do enjoy it. So this should be a pretty chill video. Just go through the auction house, talk about some snipes um, and stuff like that. Now, before I do get into this one though, as you guys may or may not know, I am giving away a team of the year card to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is comment something down below in the comment section. And I'm basically gonna pick one random comment um, from one of my videos over the last seven days. So I started the giveaway yesterday um, and there'll be five more videos after this one where you comment something and I'll basically just pick a random comment from one of those videos for the winner. As you can see, I'm also repping the Swift merch. Just came in. Um, it's so comfortable, you guys. I can't believe how comfortable it is. If any of you guys are considering buying and maybe you want a little bit of an extra discount on the shirts, DM me on Instagram or Twitter and I will make you a custom discount code. Um, I'm not sure how much it'll be. I might just pick randomly between like 15 and 30% off. Um, but if you wanna order something, there's literally no better time than now. I'll DM you a code. So just hit me up on Instagram or Twitter and I'll message you a code. The shirts are so comfortable, guys. I can't express enough how comfortable this shirt is. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, and if you guys, of course, want some, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. And sorry for the long intro, but let's get into this video. It's been almost two minutes, but yeah, let's get into this one right here. And basically, I'm gonna start off by going from the lowest overalls to the highest overalls and talking about where you can get good training as well as good filters that you can use to snipe some training. So let's get started off by talking about 85 overall players. Right now in the game, unfortunately, 80 to 81s and 82s are really, really expensive right now. That's just because of one set that they have in the game. So they're not very good for sniping training, but 85 overall players are absolutely incredible for grabbing training. My personal favorite filter is going to be filtering it down by the playoffs promo. And essentially all I'm doing is I'm looking for cards under 14K coins. As you can see, I have 2000 training already. So I'll probably only buy some if I find a really, really good deal. But if you buy anything under 14,000 coins, you're gonna get a coin to training point ratio of 12, which is absolutely incredible. Um, so basically all I'll do is I'll just refresh on this filter right here, looking for people to put up their new cards. And whenever I see one for under 14K, I will buy it. I didn't buy that one just because I already have a decent amount of training. And I'll probably only buy trading in this video if I find an incredible deal um, because I don't need it that badly. But if I did need training, I would have 100% bought that card for 14 or for 13K coins. Um, so I'm basically just looking for cards under 14K, filtering 84 to 85 playoffs. Now, the good thing about this is you don't have to flip between offense and defense to filter it down. You can literally just stay on this filter. The reason for that is because if we go to newest, you guys will see that we are seeing all the newest cards, 57 minutes. Um, and if we were to filter it down by offense or defense, like if we filter it down by offense right here, we won't get any newer cards. Um, it'll still be the same cards that we were seeing as we actually see one pop up right there that just got posted up on the auction house. Um, but yeah, you don't have to go down by offense or defense because you'll still see the same cards um, as someone must have just bought that card right there. So I'm just gonna stay on this filter right here. Um, we're gonna go on it, stay on it. I mean, if you can, if you are a little concerned that maybe you aren't seeing the newest cards, because um, I actually might not be, I might just be like a minute off. Yeah, we're actually a minute off. Um, so we did have to filter it down by all defense and bang, we find a snipe right there. That was totally my bad. I thought we were seeing all the newest cards, um, but we weren't. So that was my bad right there. I actually filtered down by all offense and all defense. Um, I thought we were seeing all the newest cards, but I guess we weren't. So these are two snipes right here. Under 13K is incredible, but under 14K is basically all you're aiming for. Um, I thought I was seeing the newest cards, but I guess I wasn't. The way you check if you're seeing the newest cards is you come in here and you just stay on the all section of this. And then what you're gonna do 
is you're gonna scroll over to newest um, and you want to see 59 minutes I saw 56 minutes so I kind of just assumed people hadn't put cards up um, that was totally my mistake though so we're gonna actually just flip between all offense and all defense that seems like it's the way to go right there and bang look at this we're finding a ton of snipes right here if you want to you can literally just throw these cards back up on the auction house and make some coins so that's actually what I might just do right here as I don't know why I'm putting them in the set but we could even make a little coins just putting these cards back up on the auction house so even if you don't want them for training um, you could easily just throw them back up on the auction house and make coins that way um, and maybe even make it so that you get free training maybe you snipe a card and sell them for training and then use the other card that you get to resell and basically get free training but this filter is honestly the hottest filter right now these 85 overall cards flipping between all offense and all defense is the move um, sorry that I told you guys you don't need to earlier in the video that was hundred percent my bad but yeah all offense all defense filtered down by playoffs 84 to 85 you want to buy at under 14k we're seeing a bunch at under 13 like I said I don't need training that badly but if you guys needed training badly you could buy all these cards under 14k and you would be getting a good coin to training point value we actually found a couple snipes at like 7k so I resold one of them um, but yeah that's essentially how it's gonna work with these lower overalls let's move on to a little bit higher overalls maybe you want training a little bit faster um, you aren't as patient and I'm gonna show you guys a method for that. So this is actually gonna be 88 overall players um, that we're gonna be grabbing, and we're gonna be grabbing 88 overalls at a price of 35,000 coins or under. That's our target price, and I'm actually gonna filter this down by heavyweights. There are new heavyweights in the game right now, which means that people are pulling a lot of heavyweight packs, and people are reselling a lot of heavyweight cards, um, so it's a good time to grab them for training. Usually, odd numbers are better to snipe, but since 89s have a lot of value based on certain sets that are in the game right now, 88s are a pretty good one to snipe. So essentially what I'll do is I'll come 88 to 89 heavyweights and I'll look and see what the first few cards are uh, based on position. So it looks like right end and left end are two really good ones to filter it down by. We'll probably be able to find some snipes that way. And basically what I'm gonna do is go on these filters and try and find cards up for 35K or less. Looks like 38 is how much left ends are going for. Let's take a look at right ends. And then basically what I could do is when I see a filter I like, um, I could just stay on it. We're about 3K off on this. So maybe I would just flip back and forth. Um, looks like we are seeing the newest cards on both of these filters. Yeah, we are. Um, so we're fine there. Maybe what I could even do is just come back to the home filter, which is this one, um, and find some other position to filter it down by. Maybe we check out right tackle. Um, as well as left tackle. Let's take a look at those 88 overall heavyweights. Um, and essentially, you're just looking for snipes on this filter, 38K, just a little bit out of our price range. Like I said, we want to try and find it at 35,000 coins, um, but you'll definitely find some snipes. As you can see, a lot of these are up for 38, so that means if someone basically just pulls one of these cards and they want to sell them quickly, maybe they throw it up for 35K, and maybe you're there to grab the snipe and sell it for training. Um, personally, out of the methods I've shown, I like the NFL uh, playoff method a little bit more than this one, but this one's pretty solid as well. If you want to maybe grab training a little bit faster, maybe you're a little bit impatient instead of buying three of those NFL playoffs cards, uh, which takes a little bit longer. Maybe you just come in here, try and find one of these for 35K and then quick sell it for training right there. As well, it's going to give you a coin to training point ratio of 12 if you buy it at that price. So that's a good coin to training point ratio right there. Um, but yeah, just gonna basically stay on these filters. You could stay on whichever one has a little bit more volume. So I would probably say left end looks the most promising. That's just because there's two cards up that are already pretty cheap, the Calais as well as the D Ford. So you could stay on that filter if you wanted to um, and basically just look for snipes. But let's move on to the very last filter of the video. And that is gonna be sniping a little bit even more higher end players. That is gonna be sniping 91 overalls at 90,000 coins. If we can grab them at that price, we're gonna get a coin to training point ratio of 13. So we're just gonna go 90 to 91 heavyweights and see if we are seeing the newest cards. Um, it looks like we are seeing the newest cards, which is great. And we can see a 91 overall player for 90K right here. So you could easily buy that. Um, again, 90 overalls at 90. Uh, or 90,000 coins for 91 overall right here, Mario Addison. But my favorite way of doing this is just going right here um, and scrolling down until we get closer to 90K. That way we can make sure we see the best deal as it looks like Mario Addison at 90.1 is gonna be the best deal. This is gonna give you a coin to training port ratio of 13, which is still really good. And again, if you just needed a ton of training really quickly, this is gonna get you like 10,000 training, I believe, um, which is enough to power up any of your team of the year players. Um, and this is the best filter to do it at right here. Heavyweights are one of the best positions to snipe. Um, if we were to just go back and look at program all and try and find 91 overalls at this price, it would be very hard to do so. Cause like if we were just coming in here and we're looking for 91s to filter it down by, um, the first 91s that we're 
going to be seeing look to be like kicker Jason Tucker, uh, which wouldn't be that good, as well as like strong safety or corner. So if we were to use those filters, uh, they wouldn't be as good. Like if we look at strong safety right here, I doubt we'll be able to find someone. Yeah, Eric Reed at 107, just too expensive, guys. So that's why I like the heavyweight filter the most um, for sniping cards, just because people are doing a lot of heavyweight packs right now. I know a lot of other YouTubers have kind of told people to open up heavyweight packs, which means that there's more cards on the auction house and we can snipe those cards um, and make some coins or even just make some training. Um, make some training is probably the better way to go with it, but you could also make some coins off of the 85 filter. So let's go back to the 85 filter, just because that was easily the best one I showed you guys in the video today um, and my personal favorite out of all of them. The one I would recommend you guys do, and we're just gonna flip between all offense and all defense. When you're watching this, you could be seeing the newest cards. So if you just came to newest and saw 59 minutes, you would be seeing the newest cards. That's what I thought. I made that mistake, but filter it down by all offense and all defense because it's going to make an absolutely huge difference. Um, you're going to be the first person to see the cards when they get posted, whereas if you're on the other filter, you would have to wait about five minutes before you see the cards and someone else would probably end up grabbing the snipe before you did. Uh, we sniped a couple of these cards. I believe we sniped someone on the offensive side of the ball um, for, and we sold them for like 14.1. Not sure if they actually sold. I think this is our card right here um, or one of these cards right here that is up on the auction house um, for 14.1K. Hopefully someone does end up buying it. I assume someone definitely will as that 85 just got bought right there. Um, you could even use this as a sniping filter if you wanted to, but just using this filter is probably the best way to get training. If you're getting them at under 14K, you're getting a coin to training point ratio of under 13. So the better deal you get, the better coin to training point ratio you get. We bought some of those cards at like 9K and that's gonna give you a coin to training point ratio of 10, which is incredible. Um, but yeah, that is basically gonna do it for the video. If you guys also don't know, the giveaway that I'm talking about or the giveaway that I've been telling you guys about is sponsored by Red Zone Coins. I know I mentioned that in yesterday's video, um, but if you basically need any coins, they're the absolute goat of a sponsor. So be sure to check them out if you need any coins. And like I said, if you're trying to grab some Swift merch, clean little Swift logo, comfortable t-shirt at a nice discount, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. I'll reply to you and give you a random discount code, which is gonna give you a certain percent off at checkout. So yeah, that is gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and until next time, fellas, I'm out. Peace. It means no worries for the rest of your day.